Hey guys, Timothy Jr. here, and I'd like to talk to you about the NFKV pathway. Well, mostly it's activation. And I'm going to be doing this by showing you a little PowerPoint, and then I'm going to go into the 3D model to show you how the parts fit in as a whole. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, first off, what does NFKB mean? NFKB means the nuclear factor kappa light chain enhancer of activated B cells. In short, this is the pathway to activate the immune response within the B and T cells. It also plays a role in effector enzyme response as well as regulate the inhibitors in apoptosis. Next, what kind of components does this thing have? NFKB in mammals consists pretty much of a main body of five transcriptional factors. P50, P52, RELA, also known as P56, CREL, and RELB. These all five share a 300 amino acid M-terminal DNA binding domain. This is also known as the REL homology domain, or RHD. REL A, C REL, and REL B all have a TAD. That stands for Transmissional Activator Domain. This activator allows gene expression to be changed. However, P50 and P52 do not have these TADs, thus they cannot assist in gene expression, unless they are paired with a protein containing a TAD. This is one way the cell can control the immune response. Now, the IKK gamma response, or IKB alpha, is a primary inhibitor for NFKB. This inhibitor stops the dimer from binding and transcribing the nuclear DNA, and this prevents the immune response from going forward. Okay, let's see if I can speed run through this. The cytokine is stimulating the receptor. This activates the IKK complex, where we have an alpha and a beta. This degrades and becomes the IKB inhibitor, which is phosphorylated and taken away right over here by the ubiquitin, these little glowstones. The proteins right here are RELA and P50. Now, as we go down further, the, P50, the REL A and P50 are now without an inhibitor. They are active. They proceed to the nucleus, which is right here. Thus, transcription can begin at the KB site. Now, coming back up, we have the non canonical pathway. This is stimulated by a lymphotoxin. We go down here, and you'll notice it's a little different. We still have the NEMO platform, or IKK gamma inhibitor, but we have two betas instead of an alpha. This is phosphorylated by a special kinase called NIC. This transforms the uh, protein into RELB and P100. The, the NEMO inhibitor is clean off. It's not needed anymore. It degrades. Now we have another kinase come in and phosphorylates to cleave off the P100 because the P100 is a little too big for <laughs> it to go through the nucleus. So we have RELB and P52. We keep going down here. Once we pass the nucleus, transcription can begin. And there you have it.
non-canonical pathway and canonical pathway. And I hope you found this informative, and I bid you all good day.